Hi Aries, welcome back for your energetic weather forecast for October 30th through November 5th. All right, let's just get started um, for your solar male outgoing electric energy. Let's see how you're faring this week. Nice, you have the King of Wands, which is you, Aries. So you're going to feel very much in your own energy, in your own power. Um, King of Wands is um, it's a good card. It's a leader. You know you. Uh, he's a leader. Um, is somebody who doesn't look to other people to forge a new path. Um, this can be a good manager, could be a business, a uh, small business owner, um, and uh, really, I would say, doesn't take direction from other people very well. I also feel like there is a regenerative energy with this card, something regenerates or you feel regenerated. I also feel like there'll be a lot of interesting information coming in or you will be very um, in your head. The crown of flames is calling to me in this card and for me that just means a lot of ideas, um, a, lot of, a lot going on in the brain. But Really, with Aries, it's about uh, leadership, so you may be thinking about that. You may be thinking about a lot of new ideas uh, that's coming up, and I would watch, this is odd, I would watch out for um, signs that birds might be <laughs> giving you. I don't know why this is coming up, but um, bird totems or flying or um, if if there's a strange action with birds around, look up the bird, look up the totem, because um, I'm getting that something with birds or flying, I don't know if you're taking a trip, so you may be flying, uh, you may be thinking about traveling, I'm not sure, but the bird totem, it's kind of, uh, actually, it's kind of like a phoenix for me. Um, and so, yeah, again, it's that regenerative power that you might be, um, that might come up for you this week. Very interesting. And that's your electric energy, so that's things going out. For your more emotional, internal, magnetic energy, you have the Four of Cups. So I think on an emotional level, you could, um, be feeling a little bored or stuck or mm, I think what I'm seeing here is that you are a little bit bored and so you're going to use that Aries energy to make things happen. The Four of Cups is um, being given an, uh, an offer and maybe you don't see it or maybe it's not what you're looking for, it's not what you want and so the King of Wands will make their own opportunity. Um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here with the Four of Cups. I, and I do think that if something is offered, it's just not satisfactory. It's just not what you're looking for. It doesn't mean that you won't act on it, but I think you'll have other things in the back of your mind that, um, that uh, suit you better. I picked up the spirit card. I usually save those for last, but because I did that, I'm going to use it because maybe there's something here in it now that you need to know. Uh, yeah, so travel definitely comes up with the world. It is a major arcana, so this means that things are at a very internal level with the world. Uh, although I did mention some travel here, so the world could also be um, offering you some travel. Now this can be on a mental level as well and um, so you may be doing a lot of daydreaming but I don't know that it's non-productive because I don't think the King of Wands can do non-productive daydreaming and so if you are daydreaming you may be daydreaming about how you'd like to change this situation, uh, what it would take, what would you prefer, that kind of energy. The Leo card is, uh, or the Leo symbol, 
the lion is um, sticking out for me in this card. So there may be a Leo, another fire sign that you might be dealing with. Um, but this is a very magnanimous energy and you may be thinking about something uh, that might happen in August or you're projecting uh, an August time frame with the Leo card. And the Leo is also for me about healing and being in the spotlight. And so maybe there is something that you are planning or that you're working on that you would like to spotlight soon. Um, but with the world, it means that you're sort of in a protective, um, a protective box. And it's still sort of incubating at the time, at this time. So yeah, ruminating, thinking about it. Um, there may be some blocks or some stumbling. <laughs> I'm really looking at this like she's tripping over it. Some stumbling blocks. But you'll get through it. And uh, this is the graduation card. So uh, whatever it is that you are stumbling through or dealing with right now um, is really going to help you out in the future, is my feeling. Uh, as an Aries moon and rising uh, I've been working on something for a while, and it crashed, and I had to start all over again. But I learned a lot from it. So that kind of energy. All right, now your mental energy, which is always a challenge. You know, I use the swords for the mental energy and action, and uh, mental energy is always a challenge with the um, with the eight of. I mean, sorry, with the swords cards. And I think that's because it is very often our mind that we kind of need to uh, regulate thoughts, our mind, to get in control, just like the chariot card. So with the Eight of Swords, you have um, a feeling of, again, kind of being stuck, not being able to go forward at this moment, not uh, just sort of feeling that you, your hands are tied and that you can't affect a change at this moment. So we're feeling a little mm, stuck in the mud, stuck in the mud. Sometimes this is of your own doing, and sometimes it's outwardly influences. And sometimes it means that you just shouldn't be doing anything yet. So I think what I'm seeing here is that even the actions that you take right now aren't probably going to solidify for a bit, or um, probably, and especially with the eclipse energy so fresh maybe this isn't the time to to act just yet but you can certainly think about things or ruminate over them or um, start planning if nothing else daydreaming you know and daydreaming does a lot uh, it's actually the very creative force yeah um, for your physical, you have the Page of Pentacles. So you are kind of revved up and ready to show something. Um, but I don't think this is the most... <clears throat> it, I don't know if this is the best time to bring it out just yet. Uh, and I do think that even if you try, something can kind of hold you back just for a little while. And, you know, this is just a week. So the Page of Pentacles is my Capricorn card. Um... This is somebody who is very diligent. They will get the job done. Um, they're, it's kind of my first responders card. Don't know why that came up, but um, if there is a situation around you, um, you might be the first to respond. I think that might be for somebody very specific. In any case, he's got some muscles. So he's been working really hard on something and would like to present it to the world. Um, and so I think maybe that's kind of how, uh, on an energetic level, you're pretty uh, stoked. You're a little bit psyched to get this um, new thing you've learned out into the world. Um but there are just a few blockages. And maybe you are not happy with a few of the details. And so maybe you want to tweak it 
during this period before you bring it out. And I'm going to say it's very possible that in the latter part of the week that you might do that. But I think midweek you're probably going to um, deal with any blocks. Both of these are, are blocks that uh, you run into. But for the most part, I think this is a pretty good reading. Um, emotionally and mentally, you have some stuff to get through. But you're busy. I know that on, on a physical level, you're actually very busy. And on a mental level, very um, on an action, both of these are very action-oriented cards. Um, the King of Wands, Aries, doesn't really sit still. I think they're very busy people. Fiery energy and initiative energy. So we want to initiate something. And it's just a few things during the week um, that I think you have to push through. But I think by the end of the week, you could be ready to present. Yay. All right. So I do want to... These are very clear for me. So I think what I'm going to do is... Well, let's have a look at the Eight of Swords that, and the Four of Cups, just to get a better idea. Oh, I don't want to use these. I'm sorry. I want to use this deck. So with the Eight of Swords, let's find some clarity there on what we can do with that. With the Hangman. So with the Hangman, yeah, I think with the Hangman there, um, it's not, it's definitely not time to wait. Things are not, or to um, act, things are not in your hands with the Hanged Man. And there, that's because there's a different perspective that you need to see. There's something that you're missing that you haven't quite seen yet. And um, that should become apparent also towards uh, the early part of the l latter week. So maybe Thursday-ish, that kind of energy. And for the uh, Four of Cups, I have the Six of Wands. So... You will deal with with whatever is bothering you on an emotional level. The six of wands says the though that that uh, the though <laughs> says that the six of uh, the the cup that's being offered is probably something really nice for you. Um, so if you can take your mind off of what's not going well and see what is, I think that's the focus, and uh, that should be something that will help you. So maybe you'll get some information, some insight. Maybe somebody has, has says something inadvertently, and it kind of unlocks something for you. And then you can move ahead. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the week. You have the Death card. So very nice. Uh, things are in are transforming and getting ready to change, and I do think that'll be by the end of the week that I'm seeing that. Um, on a romantic level, though, I think either something's transforming or something is starting to fizzle. I don't know that it was very strong to begin with, but... Um, <laughs> The heart in the uh, axe is sort of pulling my eye here. So you may cut something off that you um, love, and this could even be a bad habit, uh, though I don't see the devil here. So it could be on a romantic level, my feeling. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I'll be back in a week with the, I believe it's a full moon. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. I hope this has been helpful. Take care. Like, share, and subscribe, etc., etc. It's very much appreciated, and it's a nice exchange of energy. Thanks a lot. Bye.